we're down on Water Street downtown uh, looking at the recently commissioned murals that are happening as an expansion of the rich legacy of public art we have here in Toledo, Ohio. The three murals that we have uh, over on Water Street are part of the Momentum Festival and were underwritten by Prometica. And then we have two additional murals going into the tunnels um, that are funded by the City of Toledo's 1% for Art program. So we're really excited to bring the two projects together in a public-private partnership to really activate the space downtown and build on all the vibrancy that's happening in downtown Toledo. For this project, the way I collaborated with the artists was you know, showing them the space because two of the three artists aren't from Toledo and this area is a little hard to explain just from a Google Maps link. You really have to kind of give the perspective of the progress that's been taking place downtown and on the riverfront, specifically here on Prometica's campus. And to give that context and also to just kind of show that there's so many other things so nearby that are also growing and developing. Um, so in this case, it was really collaborating to let the two out-of-town artists know where exactly they were painting and why it mattered. And with all three artists, it was just to work with them on this sort of theme of flora and fauna and just how there's so many things sort of growing in Toledo right now and to give them that context of how to celebrate with color and vibrancy um, for all the great things that are happening right now. So I find artists mostly through the internet or just through word of mouth. Um, with somebody like Yusuf, I've just known him for a really long time and I've been following his career. I've actually known him for 25 years. We met during the Young Artists at Work program actually on the river uh, downtown 25 years ago. Um, but I've been following his career this whole time. Uh, Maya Hayek I've known for about 20 years through collaborative projects she and I have both worked on and then I've also just been sort of trailing her career watching as it's grown. She's been showing all around the world her murals and fine art. And then Louise Jones, she's actually known locally. She did a mural on Maker's Mart just up on Adam Street in Uptown, uh, I think in 2016, that also has flowers. And uh, I wanted to bring her back because her work has evolved a lot and we wanted to include a lot of flora and fauna in the series for this year. And her, her flowers were a perfect fit. Our goal with the project was to really help to highlight artistic diversity and both celebrate local artists and then bring in national artists to the community so we have a conversation going about our community both within and out and then really to focus on a diverse in gender and then a diverse in ethnicity, the artists that have come in as well as a diversity in style. This is a mural by Ken Duchesne that was recently uh, completed. It was completed last week, and we're in the concourse that connects uh, one Seagate to the Imagination Station. So this is gonna be kind of their main entrance for the time being. So we thought this would be a really great site for Ken's design, this really wonderful uh, representation of flora and fauna, of um, butterflies that are local. Uh, that are regional and uh, that visit Toledo uh, in the summer months and saw some really great connections with the Imagination Station and their programming and their educational effort. Personally, it's really exciting to contribute to the um, sort of aesthetics and, and vibe that's happening down here and to bring some great art and then also just to be able to contribute to this just obviously amazing growing art scene we have in Toledo, something I've personally been involved with through the Arts Commission for 15 plus years. It just feels like things are finally happening in a visible way. I know they've been happening behind the scenes for a while and finally we can kind of share it with everybody. When we uh, experienced what was happening with the pandemic, we made a commitment to keep the Momentum Festival alive this year. We really wanted to build upon the goals of providing artists an opportunity to earn income, continuing to improve our public spaces through the arts, and design safe and self-guided experiences for the public to participate in. We're really excited for all of these great projects to have taken place as we come out of 2020 and move into 2021. From uh, the construction projects that are happening on Summit Street, to the new theater and Imagination Station, to all the public art projects that are happening downtown. There's really going to be a new great Toledo for people to come live, work, and play in as we come out the backside of the pandemic.